Mm. Greetings, beloveds. As you come together in unison with one another, as your collection of souls begins to adhere to one another, you fold into the very fabric of each other's existences. You will help to illuminate, you will help to bring to light aspects of each other's shadow. You may consider that you provoke each other. You may consider that you raise each one to greater and greater levels of your soul's evolution. But understand, beloveds, that as one goes, all go. As any one of you heals, as any one of you allows the light to be revealed where there has been shadow, where the ego has said, I must hold on to this. This is mine. This belongs to me only. When you give up the places of need and greed and selfishness, and you allow yourself to see that only love is real and only truth will ever prevail, there is a a remembrance that you all activate within each other. I have walked a certain pathway. Sahana Grace walks in my footsteps. And you walk in ours. And we walk arm in arm and we walk ahead and beneath and behind and above and below in every direction you can possibly imagine. But understand, beloveds, that there is one Christ consciousness. And this is the path, this is the evolution. This is the journey that all of us are taking. And when every single aspect of our consciousness wakes up and says, ah, yes, I see myself in Jill. I see myself in Jean. I see myself in Rosa Maria. I see myself in William. Willem, forgive me, brother. I see myself in Sharon. I see myself in York. I see myself in Deborah and Valerie, Lloyd and Gabriella, and every other being who has recently come through your life, every other being who has come through your life through multitude of incarnations, every being that you have ever allowed yourself to be a reflection within, manifestation of, all of us take this journey. Whatever healing you are doing, you are not doing it for yourself. You are doing it for all. You are allowing yourself to bring light to the areas where you have said, I'm committed to holding on to this. <laughs> I will resist this thing. And yet in this mirrored upside down and backwards reality, the very resistance is what continues to perpetuate the very thing that you say you do not want. So when you allow yourself beloveds to say yes to all, when you allow yourself to release the resistance, there you find your freedom. So the next time you say, I do not want, pause and say, ah, what is it that I say that I do not want? Because secretly my ego does want it because it knows that if I refuse it, it will perpetuate. And you catch yourself and you say, hmm, there might be something I'm not seeing. And you will allow yourself to laugh and you will allow yourself to feel joy and say, how silly was I? How foolish was I? And you will know that your freedom is in the loving and in the appreciation and in the instantaneous forgiving of saying, this is something that I said I do not want. The truth is that I did want it. I was just pretending that I didn't. And now I release it. Now I relinquish it. Now I give it back to the light where it always belonged all along. And you find your freedom. And there is nothing that you ever want that cannot be yours. There is nothing that you ever desire that is not granted unto you. So look around, beloveds, and look within your lives and look within your stories and your the beliefs that you have that say that this must be this way or it is unacceptable to me. What if you could allow yourself to accept everything that you have found unacceptable? What if you could allow yourself to look at everything that you have said, this is not the way that it should be and say, ah, but maybe there is some aspect of me that has designed it exactly that way. Maybe I am meant to love everything I hate, and love everything I fear, and accept everything I resist. 
what would your lives look like? You cannot begin to fathom, but this is the journey, beloved ones. This is the way of mastery. And I thank you for being willing to walk this journey with me, with us. So Hannah Grace came in with an agreement to experience pain beyond imagination so that she could and would and has bring light and healing to it for the universe. She is indeed a soul and that is worthy. And so are you, all of you. So love one another deeply with reckless abandon, embrace one another, push each other's buttons. You have been given the tools, beloveds, by a teacher, by a master teacher. She did not understand why she had the life that she did, and now she does, and she is grateful. And in that gratitude, there is freedom. So allow yourself to be grateful, beloveds. You designed and you were the architects of the most magnificent journey that you yourself have chosen to embark upon. So welcome, welcome home, welcome back. I love you. I am with you always. And I will speak with you again. <laughs>